There's a lot of parts of the water that I relate to. It's so strong. I mean, it can tear apart rocks. It moves earth. <laughs> we often go kayaking on the Mississippi and just watching the birds and the eagles and the egrets and fish jumping every once in a while when you don't expect it. I mean, it just helps me feel like a part of something larger than myself. I have to say, when we first got the diagnosis, I think both my husband Frank and I were in shock. It's been really important to me to talk to people about my diagnosis and about what's going on. For one, it helps me feel empowered and in control of my own life as much as I can be. Part of what I want people to know and learn from my experience is that you can still have control in your life even when you have a disease like Alzheimer's. I think sometimes I've heard it compared to like cancer and with cancer you, you become a warrior and you fight. It's a little different with Alzheimer's and what I've learned is that it takes more acceptance than fighting. For me, living my best life with Alzheimer's means keeping myself as active as I can while balancing that with letting go what I can't do. Finding joy in every day is really important to me. Finding the things that make me smile, make me laugh. <laughs> uh, if I could change anything, I would, um, I would change the fact that this is happening at this time in my life. Maybe 20 years from now I would have been more ready for it, but that's not what's happened. I hope that my loved ones can see me as not too different than they've seen me before. I'm still who I am and I will continue to be even if it doesn't look that way on the outside. <laughs>